Okay, let's do this again. Um, we are going to continue with my silly binary counter series. Um, this will hopeful, hopefully be the second to last one. So this was actually going to be the last one, but I think I'll just break it into two videos. Um, so last time we ended up with something that looked a little like this. At least I think, I hope this is the one that I was working on. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, then again, oh no, that's right. There's a whole bunch of different things on this desk. Anyway, so beforehand we had two buttons. And if you press one, it turns this light on. And if you press this one, it turns that light on. Um, and so this is using a parallel circuit. Um, which looks, so now that I've gone through and done some videos on that, you can uh, look that up and find out what I mean. But here is it written out like uh, as a diagram. And so we've got five volts coming in here on the top, and then we've got our little buttons. I don't know if I've laid it out exactly like, no, I think I have. Uh, actually, if you look at this circuit, it's the complete opposite way around. Uh, so in fact, the resistor is going into here, into the LED, and then through to the button. Um, and then down to ground, or down to zero, or negative, at the bottom, the lowest point of the voltage potential, whatever the word is. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to, I've got to make sure I get this correct. <laughs> this doesn't sound very professional. This is not a professional channel. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. As I said before, these components you can put them in any order you want, and they will all work. So this could go up there. The switch could go down the bottom. As long, the important thing here is that they break off into two, and then they come down the bottom. It does kind of actually matter. I think I've kind of ruined it a little bit by doing it the wrong way around. Doesn't matter too much. Um, we'll get through this video. Anyway, so we've got one button on one side. When you press this button down, it makes a circuit, goes through here, makes a connection, and then the electric current goes through here, back down to here, the light comes on, everyone's happy. Um, this one won't come on because there's a break in this one circuit, and so it doesn't go down, around through here, and then back up here, and then back down here, through there, and out there. It will only go through there, and it doesn't care about this. So if I press this little button, then this one will come on, uh, for the same reasons, because I've, uh, I've, ma I've uh, made it a closed circuit, and then the current will go through there, turn the light on, and everything's fine. Um, and if we press them both at the same time, then both the lights come on. But the question that I was trying to answer last time is, I don't want that behavior. I want it so when I press, say, this button, we get a blue light, but when I press this button, I want to get both the lights on at the same time. And just to recap what we did last time, uh, I tried to put an extra wire in so that, right, yeah. I don't know if I did exactly this thing, but yeah. So what I've gone and done, uh, have, I, have I zoomed all the way out? Because I zoomed in a minute ago to make so um, I'm running out of space on my card. Oh well, that means I won't get to do the other video I wanted. Anyway, let's just finish this. We're not going to get this finished, am I? Um, so the point here is that uh, I would go through here and then it's going to do a little jump and go onto this one as well and turn this light on at the same time. So when I press this button, the current, pretend this is the positive, it goes in here through the button, down through this wire, and then through the LED over to there, but also splits off and goes into here, and then goes into this LED and through to there. Um, so if I press this on, I do in fact get two lights on, and when I press this one, I also get two lights, and that's not what I wanted. Um, and so the real reason for doing that is what I've done, is I've essentially drawn, I don't, where's my ruler gone? Should I bother using a ruler? It doesn't really matter. Um, so I drew, I've added an extra wire in, so it becomes painfully obvious why this doesn't work the way I wanted it to. So my idea, of course, I'm saying I want this to go down here, the current to go through here, to go down this one, turn this light on, and to go this way and turn this light on. Right? But by adding this wire, the exact same thing happens on the other side. If I press this button, uh, the current goes through here, it goes down through this light, which is like it used to do, but it also goes back the same way that I, went to, I wanted to go through that way. And so that's not giving me the behavior that I wanted. 
So the solution to all these problems is to use something like an LED, which so the D in LED stands for diode. And as I've mentioned before, I don't know if I mentioned that many times, you can't turn them around. So if I turn this around, uh, the current doesn't flow. So the light doesn't work anymore. So that one's broken. And in fact, if we pull up this little circuit from the previous video and pull it all apart, uh, we can quickly show <laughs> that what a diode does using an LED. So we're going to have one LED here and then we're going to have another one. So if you watch the video on series video uh, series circuits and oh are these the 100 ohms? I don't know. <laughs> what did I just pull out of this thing? I must have pulled this one out. Okay. We're going to put that one there and then we're going to put that one there. So I'm making from that previous video the circuit where I've got two LEDs in series with one resistor. So I'm going to have to unplug this one. Plug this in. To activate it. And sorry, this is this it's, it's the battery it doesn't connect very well. Uh, or the battery connector thing doesn't work. So it goes in there and they both the lights come on. But if I take one out and then I turn it around, it's not that the one light won't work. In fact, they both won't work because this is blocking the current going through. So you might say, so that's what it, that's what that's what the D in LED stands for, it stands for diode, and diodes stop the current flowing in a particular direction. Um, and so this is kind of you might be thinking, well, if only we could have a diode that didn't make fancy lights all the time. <laughs> And you'll guess what? You're in luck. There is. It's just a standard diode, and they come in many shapes and forms. Uh, and this is a very common one. It's very hard to see, but this is a one. I think it's what is it? One. It's like you probably have a bunch of these in your in your box if you do this kind of thing. One in four o o seven is how you say it. So this thing here is quite neat in that. It will allow the current to flow uh, if this part is positive and this part is negative. You can tell because the little black bit's meant to go, pretty sure, I hope so, to the the more negative side and the po and the non little. There's a little tiny band. Let's get to go real close. Can you see the band? I hope you can. There's a little band on it. Uh, it's kind of like the shorter leg on this. So we better just check that that works. So if I replace that and then put this into the circuit, uh, so, oh, it's not going to, okay, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go straight from the positive over to there. So there you go, it does work. So now we're going from the positive, so there's no band on the side, it's going to the band side, which is the negative side. So you can, pretend, you can imagine it's a negative sign wrapped around the bottom of the thing. Uh, and it's going down to here and then through there, and that works. But if I take it out and I turn it around, then, what have I got written on my arm? <laughs> uh, yo, sup. Right, and then it goes, it doesn't work because this is, the, this is the wrong side. So the, I've kind of forgotten what they're called now. One of them is called the anode and the cathode. And I had a really good way of thinking about this. Pretty sure the positive side is the anode and the negative side is the cathode. I have to check on that. Um, what was my little way of remembering that? It will come to me. All right, if I've got that wrong, I'm sorry. But that is basically the trick. So we want, when we press this button, for the current to flow through here and into there and into there, but we don't want it to happen the other way around. We don't want the current to flow through here. So what we want to do is we want to put something in the middle to block it. And it looks kind of like that. I don't know if it has a circle around it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, <coughs> which is why that little symbol is inside the LED. So this is our diode, and so we're going to say, we're going to press it, so the arrow points in the direction that the positive current flows. Um, one day we'll talk about like which way current kind of flows, but you can just say this is the way that the positive, the positive charges are flowing. They're flowing through here and down here to the negative point. Um, the positive charges, well, they don't really, oh, well, you will get into that one day. But the point is, then when we press the button, it will go through here, and when we press this button, it will go, oh, can't go that way, and we'll just go through that one. So this should give us the behavior we want. So instead of this ugly little wire here, we'll take this out. It's not ugly, it's yellow, it's nice, it's fine. We're going to put this one. So we have to think it, we have to think this through. Um, because I, I, I've wired this up the, the opposite way around to here. So in fact, so this is the positive. 
So it's coming from the negative, it's going up in here. So I want the negative side to be, uh, this, so the little band is going here because this is actually the negative side of the circuit. And the positive is going to go over there. So it's going to come up through here. So this is starting, because this circuit is starting on the negative, well it's not starting, but I'm going to start reading it from the negative rail. It's going through the thing here, going through there, and we're going to have this pointing to the negative side. It's going to go up across the um, diode into this part here, and then through into this LED, um, and back out to the top. So hopefully that should give us the behavior that we want. So we'll plug it back in. <coughs> We'll press this one and it doesn't, why doesn't it work? Did I turn this around? I did turn it around. We forgot to turn it back. That's lucky. Okay, so we're, we've got 57 seconds, so we have to finish it. So we press the button, that one works. We press this button and they both come on and it's exactly the behavior that we wanted. So now that we know this little trick and now that we know how diodes work, um, or the very basics of how a diode works, so there are actually quite a few different types of diodes and so we'll get into that different, uh, different they're little different bits and pieces of them later on but this is the basic and this is what you need to know for today so next video we're going to use this to finally complete our binary our binary mess thing which looks like this so hopefully people will tune in for that and sorry this is a video short but maybe that's a good thing all right thanks don't forget to like share subscribe and thanks for watching and bye